Welcome to the complete Tales of the Jedi series, narrated by Ben from Star Wars Timeline. Part 1. The Golden Age of the Sith Prelude, Conquest and Unification A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, in the days of the Old Republic, five million years before the birth of Luke Skywalker and the Galactic Empire, a young Jedi scholar called Oran Ur recounts the epic of the Great Hyperspace War. It is a tale of how the wise Empress Teta united the seven worlds of the Chorus system and how destiny set young explorers Gavin and Jory Darragon on their bold adventure that would change the galaxy forever. Far in the Chorus star system, two supply runners Hawk and Timar Darragon volunteer on a mission of mercy from their home planet of Sinegar. They part with their beloved son and daughter, piloting a ship with relief supplies for the soldiers of Kirak. It is the last of the seven worlds Empress Tetis forces battle for to bring peace and security to her domain. The battle is won, but not without a terrible cost. The Brave Runner's ship is destroyed, leaving their children heartbroken and alone. They vow to follow in their parents' footsteps and explore the galaxy together. The Golden Age of the Sith Two young hyperspace explorers, Gav and his sister Jory Darragon, are set on a journey in their trusty starship Starbreaker 12. Their hope is to seek fortunes discovering safe hyperspace lanes, pay off their financial debts, and make their names the stuff of legend in the Navigator's Guild. Their first discovery is a dangerous route through a solar system with unstable red supergiant. Disastrous loss of shipments angers an unsavory merchant lord, disrupting his shady enterprise back on Synagar. Upon their safe return home, the merchant swears vengeance and seizes their assets, impounding the sibling's starship forcing them to fend for themselves in the city slums. Desperate for one last chance to prove their worth, Gav and Jory steal the Starbreaker 12 and outrunning spaceport authorities program the navigational computer shooting into unknown space. On the far side of the galaxy, on a desolate world unmarked by any map, the acolytes of an evil cult bury their dead master. The legacy of the Dark Lord of the Sith, Mark Aragnus, comes to an end when one of his subjects, Nagasato, challenges the ancient ways. He calls out his opponent, Ludo Crash, to determine a new leader through mortal combat. Suddenly, the immortal spirit of their former lord arises to warn his people. The fate of his prosperous empire hangs in the balance. Only a worthy successor must take his place. At this precise moment, the Starbreaker exits hyperspace near the planet's orbit, and the Darragon siblings make their way to the Korriban's surface. Their friendly greeting is interrupted by unprovoked attack, and both strangers are taken prisoners to Zeost. There, the descendants of the exiled Jedi build their seat of power. In one of its towering strongholds, the evil Sith Lords hold their council. Ludo Crash, whose mind is set on the old traditions, demands the Republic spies be put to death to protect their space from potential threats. His arch-rival Nagasato proposes to exploit the newcomer's knowledge of the star maps and strike the unsuspecting Republic first. Later, in the black shadows of night, Nagasato and his elite Masashi warriors break the prisoners free and make their escape to his hidden fortress of Karshian. Promising a safe haven for Jory and her brother, the Sith returns to his peers on Zeost. Barging into their council chamber, he blames the murder of his master Simus on the Republic spies. In a desperate bit of power, Nagasato persuades his supporters and undergoes the marking ritual, proclaiming himself the next Lord of the Sith. At the heart of the Republic space, the young Jedi scholar Oran Ur and Empress Tera rush to the city world of Coruscant. There, he presents his Force vision before the Jedi Council. In it, he felt a tremor in the Force, and believes it is a warning of impending threat from the acolytes of the ancient Jedi exiles. Back at the Karshian stronghold, the cunning Sith Lord separates the siblings. He promises great rewards, secretly plotting to further his own ambition. Nagasato believes his peers have become complacent, and that the Empire requires a new enemy to remain strong. His plan is to destroy all political opposition against the crusade on the Republic. He preys on the Gath's weakness instructing the youth in the Sith magics, while promising a safe passage home to his sister Jory. Before our tale ends, the brother and sister will know much sore and pain as unwilling pawns in his twisted game. After wresting the Starbreaker from the guards on Zeost, the Masashi warriors plant their evidence amidst the bloodbath, 
an emblem of Nagasato's elite troops. This bold strategy forces Ludocrash and his collaborators to play their hand and strike Sato's decoy fortress at Caldelba. As the heated battle unfolds, the Sith Lord implores Jory Daragon to escape to Republic space while planting a beacon on her ship. Nagasato's master plan is fully revealed when the slaves of the Empire turn on their masters and kill the starship commanders Harak Mul and Dorgal Ram. Their supreme commander Luder Kresh and his remaining fleet escapes, while the victor plans his next stage for the invasion of the Republic. This concludes the first part of the Tales of the Jedi Overview, stay tuned for part 2, The Fall of the Sith Empire.